So just making this video to give a little bit of advice to the young boys and the young men out here who are sort of, I don't want to say lost, but they're sort of in a position where they don't know what to do with themselves. You know, there's a lot of options out here in this world. And sometimes having too much options is just as bad as having no options because you don't make a decision. Oh, should I be an accountant? Oh, should I be an electrician? Oh, should I be a doctor? Should I be a lawyer? Should I be a plasterer? Except people don't know what to do. They've got so much options out here. You know, you know what? The girl they're watching this. Young girls, young women, you can take this advice on board as well. So anyway, I've got a message on my TikTok account. The young you, you don't know what to do with himself at this moment in time, which is cool. At the same time, he's got a lot of money saved, a considerable amount of money saved, especially for his age. He's saying to me, like, I don't know what to do with myself. I've got this amount of money saved. What should I do with it? Start trapping, blood. Nah, 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 nah. I'm joking, joking, joking. I will never promote that nonsense. Go check my YouTube channel. I've got 1,200 videos. You'll never hear me talking about, yeah, man, go start trapping and that. I will never promote that foolishness. Being an electrician, being a legit person, I've made more money being an electrician, being a legit person than <whistles> looking over my shoulder, ducking from the cops and that. I remember being in Felt and being in ISIS in 011. Get me, conversation starter. What are you in for? What are you in for? What are you in for? I'm asking my what they're in for and that. And they're like, oh, you know, get me, man, just get me shot into the undies and that. They man are getting caught selling drugs to undercover police blood the police are putting something in their throat which allows them to smoke crack but not get high blood so it's just foolish this man will never promote man shot in blood but my advice to the young boy was you see that money that you got saved up don't spend none of it don't buy into this stupid luxury lifestyle save your ass club money even if you ain't got no money right now it doesn't matter when you do come into money when you do get money don't buy into the stupid luxury lifestyle because at the end of it, you're going to be broke. I say to him, because he's like college age right now, yeah? Get yourself a skill, get yourself a trade or get some A-levels so you can go to university. Get a skill like being an IT man. Get a trade, gas engineer or electrician. Get yourself A-levels so you can go to university. Once you're qualified in whatever, yeah, you got your IT, you got your electrical trade or whatever, or you got your A levels to go to university at that. Get yourself a high paying job. I would advise everybody become self employed. Forget about this PAYE, oh, holiday pay and that, blood. Forget that. The reason why I'm able to earn so much money as an electrician, five, six grand a month, not because I'm PAYE. No way, fam. If I was a PAYE, Full-time electrician, you know, like working for a company, look at holiday pay, look at idiot rust bucket van. I'd be on some idiot 40 grand a year, fam. I would not work, I would not get out of bed for 40 grand a year, fam. Because I'm able to earn five, six, sometimes seven grand a month, it's because I'm self-employed. Obviously, man don't get no holiday pay, man don't get no sick pay at that. I don't care about holidays, I don't get sick. I was talking about this in a video the other day, blood. When you're self-employed, when you get sick, your body, it produces its own antibiotics, blood. Yeah? You don't get sick, fam. Or if you do get sick, you limit your sick days. So I was telling him, get yourself a skill, get yourself a trade, get a level so you can go to university so you can get a high paying job and just become self-employed. Save up your money. I was able to save up to buy this property within three years. Now, I was saving up 10 grand. So once I became qualified as an electrician working for Holmes Harringay in Tottenham, when I was 20, yeah, just, yeah, I just turned 21, I think, yeah. So when I was 21, I was getting paid about 28 grand a year. I was saving up a thousand pounds a month. I'd done that for three years and I was able to save up about 30 grand um, in three years. I bought this property. Now, this, this property did not cost me uh 30 grand i only had to put down a measly deposit of thirteen thousand six hundred. yeah but that was back then now if i was to buy this property i'd have to put down a deposit of 20 grand uh, this, this is this is the beauty of buying properties they go up in value so yeah save your money and at the same time let's say you're studying let's say you're studying to get your skill you're studying to get your trade you're studying to get your a levels or uni degree don't just study, blood. You've got to do stuff on the side. 
I would advise everybody make content on YouTube, blood. There must be something that you like to do, blood. I don't know, motorbike riding, skateboarding, I don't know, something. You like talking to your friends about football, start a podcast talking about football, blood. I'm saying to the young you, I don't advise anyone play games, video games. It's a waste of time, but you know, if you're going to play video games, if you love playing video games that much, start Twitch, was it Twitch? Yeah, start Twitch streaming it so you can get paid, blood. You see, when I have a son, I don't have no use at the moment. When I have a son, he ain't playing no video games. And if he does decide he wants to play video games, he's going to stream that shit. I'm going to make, I'm going to train my son to be a producer, not a consumer. See, that's our problem. You see all these people that buy into the luxury lifestyle and that? They are consumers. I'm not a consumer, fam. I'm a producer. You're watching me right now, fam. Man's producing content, blood. I don't sit and watch YouTube videos all day long, blood. Man cuts up videos. So the reason why I'm able to make, so if you've noticed on my TikTok account, man's got bare videos, bare videos. I'm not Superman. I've not filmed all those videos in one day. Because I've got such a vast catalogue of videos and that, man's able to just chop them up and put them on my YouTube, uh, my TikTok account and that. I just sit down all day long when i got spare time and that and cut up videos to put onto my TikTok account, blood. I'm a producer, fam. I'm going to train my son when I have a son to be a producer. Don't be a consumer, fam. So, yeah. Let's say a man gets a skill, trade, education, whatever, in it, yeah, gets a uni degree, Try and get a job in that field or that line of work. Try to become self-employed. And then just, it's all about maximising your wages. Yeah, you, you hear these men in the manosphere and that talking about looks maxing. Well, let's start wage maxing. Yeah, let's start instead of earning 40K, let's start trying to earn 60, 75K. So that we can earn as much money as possible, buy as much property, properties as possible, blood. The reason why I like to talk about the property thing is because everyone and anyone can get into it. You can't pull the race card, yeah? You can't pull the race card. My girl's a mortgage broker. There's nowhere on the forms that asks you about your, your, your skin colour or your race or your ethnicity, you know? So you can't pull the race card. Oh, I didn't get this because I'm a black man. The mortgage lenders, they don't care what skin colour you are. And let's say they did care what skin colour you are. You're looking at a man, yeah? Or melanated skin that's got multiple properties, blood. So if I can, you can. With the property thing, the, way, the reason why it's so good, anyone can get into it. You buy a property, you leave it for a few years. Once it's gone up in value and that, then you can pull out money, borrow against the property. Obviously, your monthly bills will go up from, let's say, £400 to £500, for example, because you're borrowing money. But then you use that money to buy a next property, wait for that one to go up in value, whilst this one's still going up in value. You can, next thing you know, you're borrowing against two properties. Next thing you know, you're sitting on 10 properties, but this ain't going to happen overnight, fam. It won't happen overnight. But after a 10 year period, then that blood, you could be sitting on five, six properties. Once I complete on this current property that I'm trying to buy, I will have four properties and that will be in a period of six, seven years. And that's only because man learned the thing now, yeah, after watching videos on YouTube. I had to find this shit, yeah? You lot have found me, so you lot are getting, like, cheat codes and that. Because some people, they can't learn from someone unless the person looks like them, which is a bad thing. You lot look like me for the most part, so you lot can learn from me. Certain man, they will say Indian man or a white man talking about property this and property that. and think, oh, well, yeah, Indian man, you know, them man, they're privileged. A white man, them man, they're privileged. And that, fam, you don't need to be privileged to get on a property ladder, blood, or, or to be able to buy properties and that. And literally, by the time you're old, man, you're 50, 60 years old, you could be sitting on 20 properties. That's your retirement. This is going to be my retirement, properties. I've, ne I've never opted into pension. When I was an apprentice at Home Saharan Gear, I wasn't in the pension. When I became qualified and they put me on 28 grand a year, they put me in the pension. Um, I remember I looked at my first pay slip and I'm like, why am I seeing like 80 or 100 pounds missing from my wages? And I took it to HR. They're like, oh, yeah. You've been opted into the into the pension scheme. It's um, like mandatory, compulsory. It's all, it's automatic. I said, no, nah, take me out. She said, no, nah, yeah, in order to not pay the pension and that, you have to opt out. Yeah, I opted out straight away. I'm not paying into no pension, blood. I'm not paying into no pension. I'll make a detailed video about why I, I'm choosing not to 
um, have a pension and that. But literally, life is so simple, blood. You just make like people are making life difficult for themselves. <laughs> You're trying to save up to buy a property, but then you got a Mercedes outside that you're paying five hundred pound for. Blood, you gotta see life like a, a marathon. If you was running a marathon right now, wouldn't you want to be as light as possible? You wouldn't want to run a marathon with a 20 kg bag on your back, would you? Well, the Mercedes is the 20 kg bag on your back, blood. It's weighing you down. It's slowing you down. That 500 pound that you could be saving is going on a fucking car. That's depreciating in value. Or you're not even going to own it because you're leasing it, blood. All to get some little, I don't know, social points to impress people or to suppress people around you. It's dumb, blood. It's dumb, man. But anyway, man, that's my advice to the young people then. You're watching this right now. You don't know what to do with yourself. Get yourself a skill. Get yourself a trade. Go to university. Get a high-paying job. Become self-employed. Do not indulge in the luxury lifestyle. Do not start running up credit card bills. Do not start going on all these holidays or that. Do not take out no payday loans. Don't be leasing and financing all these expensive cars, blood. Save your money, invest in properties, wait for the value to go up, refinance them, so borrow against the properties and buy more and more properties. Yeah, And just live humble. Live humble, blood. Stop trying to live this extravagant lifestyle. You're not Drake, blood. Stop trying to imitate these rappers, blood. These men are leading you astray, fam. You have to think about it. These men earn fast money. You don't earn fast money. So you can't try to live the same lifestyle as them, blood. When you start earning fast money, legal money, yeah, then you can live their, their lifestyle and that. But until that, you, you just got to live humble, blood. Got to live humble, fam. Anyway, man, that's it for today. Stay wise. Turn around.